Okay, so the next few years in demands will be basically a catch-up of a lot of elements that have been sort of missed the last couple of years by, many call it the, the peace dividend, so basically eradication of ground-based air defense, particularly in the lower tier roles. So the focus is very much on, on ballistic missile defense uh, and, and general air defense uh, rather than uh, maneuver shore at and the, the engagement of, of targets that are in the close vicinity. Uh, it has been clearly demonstrated on this conference by the voices of many users and operators that this lack of inner tier shore out will drive capabilities over the next couple of years and they have as well sort of uh, given focus to reinstall GBAT in its inner tier uh, element uh, and give a focus to it because there is has been proven that there is a real capability gap. And many users are still using legacy systems and it was as well uh, demonstrated very clearly on this conference that uh, these legacy systems can be upgraded and updated. Being, being specialist, of course, and having always been a specialist in the inner tier air defense, having basically uh, uh, gun-based air defense solutions, of course, they can help to fill those gaps. Uh, that is, we have always worked in this domain, worked in this world, and uh, now what we have these days, and that's what we have presented here as well, we can integrate such capabilities much different than we have been years than, than years ago by not stovepiping stove piping those systems. So one example that we showed here is that you can, for instance, directly connect a 35 millimeter gun into a Kongsberg FDC, which is a completely, which is bringing together two layers uh, directly. So if you have a demand to defend a defender, being it a Patriot position or an ASAM's position, you don't have to put whole fire units, but you can only plug in the effector into that. So this is going to help uh, forces to get much more dynamic and, and, and uh, much more flexible design in order to fulfill their missions and to be protected during those missions. In hindsight, now as the conference is over and we know that uh, starting from the focus day, which was the firing uh, on our firing range, uh, and we combined this with an, with an event, what we call a 35mm user group, that was just prior, and then we had the two groups joined together, it's about 300 people on our firing range in Oxenboden, because the IQPC Full Spectrum Air Defense delegates joined us there and that gave uh, very good value to the investment we made to, to demonstrate our systems in, in real time and that is as well the feedback that we got from many of the participants that showed up and then subsequently running the two days uh, that is not completely new to us. Uh, we have been sponsoring IQPC's integrated air and missile defense uh, events before and there has been good reason for us to do so over the period of time. It is and remains one of the few platforms where you bring users, uh, people that work in purchasing and, 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 and in government and, and uh, industry together into the same platform, exchanging information on a, on a, on a public domain level all by it, but uh, exchanging important information. And the last two days have shown we got a lot of users here. Uh, we got a lot of uh, delegates here, so it was, a, it was a large conference in my view uh, that uh, has yielded a lot of uh, different perspectives and it yielded as well, in my view, a clear common denominator that uh, what we have been stating over the last many years that uh, this inner tier and maneuver shore out and things like that uh, will become important given by the development of the threat and the exposure of the threat to many of these customers. Uh, that has been clearly demonstrated here. Valuable discussions. I have uh, seen a lot of people that uh, are very satisfied with the, with the whole event. So for us, uh, in hindsight, it was clearly a worthwhile investment. 
would like to thank IQPC for the professional work and, uh, and uh, we will continue to work together.